in May we had the launch of the Isle of Sifter and in June we have Game Pass and Windows Store releases for Conan Exiles in general with all the DLCs by the looks of it. So today we're going to see what they've been up to and what is new. What's up Fire fan? my name's Karen Fire and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Today we are looking at the addition of Conan to the Microsoft Store and a bunch of really cool news being uh, well crossplay is going to be a thing so if you were to have the version of Conan on a Microsoft Store on PC and uh, you have one on Steam then this means both players can play with each other which is going to be really awesome and you can play with mods I'm going to show you how to integrate mods yourself put them on because the system is very different from how it is on Steam and uh, it's how it works kind of how like you would have traditional mod adding like you would on most games but if you have no idea what you're doing there i will definitely show you through the steps definitely check out the chapters throughout the video if you don't know what that is it's across the the bar where you see the video progress you can see the sections there if you would like to go to certain sections of the video to see what is up and learn about new things so as news goes donna has actually put in an update here they have said We've updated Conan Excel to prepare for Microsoft Store PC release later in the day. This means crossplay between Microsoft Store PC and Steam will be possible. So they're telling you, basically, you can have mods on Microsoft Store PC, possibly Game Pass there because that's also going to be included soon because Conan has already spoiled that they are releasing Conan on Game Pass. So. I consider this would probably be included in that since they're basically the kind of same thing Microsoft Store, Game Pass, same kind of company, same process, unfortunately won't be available for Xbox users because of course when you're on a console you can't do modded which is a real shame there. But if you do have a PC and you have both versions then you'll be able to cross play with your friends which is awesome, it also mean if you wanted to ever play on my server or anybody else's server and we're on all Steam, you can join via Microsoft Store and be a part of the action, which is really awesome. But how is this going to work if you have the Steam Workshop where you currently do your mods and Microsoft has no support for that already? Well, you're going to have to go to one of these kind of traditional sites where you usually get mods, Nexus Mods being probably the one you'll want to go to to get these things. I'll be honest, a lot of things on here are very out of date, but... With this coming into tune, I imagine a lot of modders are going to update their mods to make them very compatible with uh, what's coming out. You'll have some new mods here and whatever else. I know I can already see one that's really good that is Barbarian Barber. Absolutely brilliant mod. And I think we have, uh, what do we have? We also have Immersive, Warrior Mutator. There's some really popular ones in here. So I hope to see a lot more in here that will be updated and definitely keep an eye on this page this is where you're going to get your mods usually they give you a rundown on how to download it or what requirements you need this is a very it's a reliable site i've used it a bunch of times to do mods either way uh, whether that be for terraria or anything else it does require you to usually have a uh, login account or not but it's, it's very good so for instance you have this mod here you'd be downloading it and you'd be popping it in your files but how would you go about that if it's on a different platform if you've never really done that kind of thing before well i managed to get my hands on a copy of this nice pdf right here it should be very helpful to showing you what to do here it's also going to help me run you through what's going on here and show you examples of what i'm doing uh and some interesting things they've also included in here which is a little bit ooh, um like this requirements thing I really hope they change it. Their requirements right now, if you have Microsoft Store kind of Excel's version, is if you wanted mods to work on that, you have to have that installed on your main drive, aka your C drive. And that is really bad because that's going to make your computer a lot slower usually if you put games and stuff all on one drive, um, especially the one that manages your Windows and starts up your PC and everything. I've had trouble with this with games in the past and I've been able to move them to different uh, folders well not folders hard drives but hopefully I'm hoping Conan will also allow this to happen apparently it's probably a Microsoft problem by the looks of it so hopefully they can find a solution to that 
because having mods in your main drive and the main game is just a recipe for a lot of ass really and not in a good way you must also know you must need your mods enabled on the windows 10 store to even be able to attempt to do this so how you enable it is right on this page here so you go and have a look at this you launch your xbox app then you go to game details page press more button and choose to enable mods and this way you can activate it pretty simple process and then your game folders will become accessible for modding remember mods are at your own risk so do go to kind of trusted sites don't go to sites that uh, look really fishy okay now how do we install them on the microsoft store so pretty much this is a bit of a lengthy process but it's pretty down and simple when we get to it i'll show you through it so first of all we're going to be looking for the mod we want i'm going to use barbarian barber as an example because i really do like this mod remember if you're not sure if it's a good one or not or if it's um something that might be bad or you know a virusy one do check the rates check the uh, posts about it check uh, the reviews and kind of the stats for it as well and that will kind of tell you um you know if it's a bad one or not but I know this one's pretty trusty, so we're going to go ahead and download it. So, of course, we want to either do the mod manager download or manual download. I'm going to go ahead and just manually download it. It will come up with something like this. Of course, if you have a free premium, it's a bit quicker of a download if you have premium. And you do have to log in to be able to get mods from Nexus. So I've gone ahead and logged in. I can now have the options. I'm going to do a slow, slow download because I don't have premium not that special and there we go we got barbarian barber i'm going to save that in there i'm going to wait for that to download some of these mods could be pretty big so they'll take a little while to download and usually they'll come in a zip file or if you have winrar it'll be a winrar file one tip for you i'm going to give you is you want to make sure the mod is pretty up to date i'm going to warn you on this one because if you do download something pretty old there's a very big chance of it not going to work and crash your game um, that's usually how it will go with kind of mods, unfortunately, unless it's one of those mods that is very small and it lives without an update. Usually the ones that haven't been altered in any way is usually the ones that are fine. So kind of things like stack sizes or anything like that, uh, they don't usually create too much of an issue. But just make sure they've been updated to this year or something. Like Barbarian Barbie, you can see here, last update, 22nd of April 2021 very good sign if you see anything too low you know you got 2018 a lot in there there's a very big chance it could be uh, a very buggy one for you or one that's going to cause a lot of issues okay so it's all downloaded we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and open it up and you can see you got a pack file now mods usually come in pack form uh when it comes to kind of xrs that's just how it is so we want to go to the root of where our mod folder is now for Windows Store. You actually don't start with a mod folder. You actually do need to create one yourself. So here comes the more tricky part of the process here to be able to do. You might need to run Conan in a administrator mode to be able to get it to work. But if not, um, do try and do the normal version first and then uh, try it if you're having trouble with that. We need to go ahead and go over to percentage program files in all caps together with no space percentage slash modifiable windows apps slash conan xr slash windows no editor slash conan sandbox exactly like it is on screen so once you've got that up you should have something that kind of looks like this but without the mod folder you basically just want to create a folder here type in mods exactly like it is highlighted and there you go you've got a mod file and then what you're going to do is you're going to whack the pack file into this folder so it'll kind of be like you just drag drop extract it in there and it will be as simple as that there you go pack file is in there don't worry about the mod list text file for now but pretty much this is pretty simple once you've got it in there however big it be you run the game and you would do it as usual so you would select your mods via the mod menu on the main menu and uh, make sure your mods are there in the available mod column move them over to the select mod column and then restart the game 
and run it and your mod should be installed ready to use to deactivate them you just move them over to the other column again in the uh, active mods or you just uninstall them all together it will be a very simple process to uninstall them it will just be delete the pack file you popped in that folder do remember if you're in a co-op session your friend will have to do the exact same thing they can't just have the download thing go over for them aka the system that automatically downloads for you will not work this way apparently so you will need to get your friend to be able to download the same mods as you in the same way so for a dedicated server it's the exact same process as the other one but you now need the use of the modless text on this created folder so you'll need to create that text file um, modlist.txt should be the name when you open it up it should be empty but you want to add the path to your mod in here line by line you want each one a separate line and the full pathway to it so mine are like this because this is how steam roots things but if you wanted to do it for windows you need to do it slightly different but it's the same process you basically put an in your path manually whereas steam would do this automatically for you because that's just how it works it works the hard bits out for you but it is fine you'd be adding your root in so you'd have of course your hard drive and then the path to where you've put your mod so say we just did barbarian barber that would be uh that actual name for the file is barbaric barber and it would be like that exactly like that and then when you wanted to add in another mod it would be as simple as something like that so you've got two mods in there now on your mod list so it's uh what you put first is what it loads first and then it will go through it and the last one is the last mod it will load for you usually you do want to put your big mods uh first in load order do make sure the mods you have if they have any requirements like they want to be first in load order make sure that one is right at the top so if barbaric barber or bar barbarian barber mod want needs a slot up the top to be able to run it's kind of like an overhaul mod or something like that for example it will need to be top of the list to, to be able to work so do make sure you check that on the mod requirement page as well if it has a requirement like that not a lot of kind of mods do but do make sure you do check it out just in case but that's the example of what it will be like there'll be no spaces it'll be consistent kind of like how it is up here no big space like this in between otherwise it will tend to delete them and then you just want to go ahead and uh, you want to save your text file and then that'll be good to go now on the other hand if you want to join a dedicated server running with mods you'll need to run the game and join a dedicated server running with the mods verify the mod mismatch menu appears listing in the mods that the player is missing Proceed to download any missing mods using the download button that will pop up on your screen usually. Uh, so it will be a pretty simple process like that. And then once the download finishes, press the connect button and it will restart your game. And then load it back up again. Or you can manually install and activate the mods of the dedicated server on your own listing. Which I probably recommend you do, especially if the dedicated server you want to join has a lot of mods or like a large amount of gigabytes of mods it could be a lot quicker to do it manually and then we got a few example ports on screen right now if you need any help with uh, the uh, auto downloading of mods or ports that you need um, all right there for you to help you out now if that all sounds too complex to you there is a very high likelihood that um, you're going to get server providers that's going to provide for windows store as well that make things really simple for you of course you have to pay a little bit of money for it but then it makes things a lot easier for you so if that's not kind of your cup of tea or whatever you can always go and get go ahead and get a server kind of like i have on pink perfect uh, link in the description if you want to find out more about that it's not right there right now for windows but i imagine they will get something up for it so that would be nice you'll be able to join your friends and play mods together or join communities on steam if, even if you have something like the game pass um you have the cheaper version you should be able to join other communities that way remember if you don't find any mods on this one that match certain servers you want to play there's probably other ways to go ahead and get the mod either you need somebody that has a steam workshop account to hand over a pack file to you to be able to join you in a co-op say you both have uh, mod a it's only on the steam workshop and uh, that person was to give you the pack file for mod A, 
then you'll be able to load that into your mod file like I explained to you. Hopefully we'll see some more mods on here for you guys. So you'll be able to play some with some awesome mods. I absolutely love mods. They uh, give a lot of availability to the game. A very interesting update as well. I'm glad we're going to have some more people into the community. Especially people who are on the Microsoft Store. Definitely give this uh, page a look at. It could be very helpful as well. Because you've got written examples here. Hopefully that will help you out as well. And uh, anyway, I think that's probably it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, consider giving a like and a sub. It really helps me keep continuing to upload content or content excels that will help you out. And uh, get things known out there, you know. Good stuff like that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.